welcome, Franz, and, and thank you for joining us today. And um, we're here to learn a little bit more about a pre-medical program that we offer at UCR, and we're, you're one of the teachers in the, in the pre-med program. So I'm looking forward to learn a little bit more about the tracks and the courses that are in the pre-medical program. Yes, we have a pre-medical program. Uh, the program is composed of two different uh, individual tracks that uh, should be combined uh, if, if you want to uh, go for the pre-medical track. Uh, that there are two separate tracks uh, that has a certain reason because some courses in, in the, the life science track uh, are also perfect courses for, for let's say, biologists or uh, students who want to uh, go for cognitive sciences. So that, that's one reason. Um, Maybe I can tell you what is in those tracks. Uh, so in, in the life science tracks, uh, we, we start with the introduction to life science, and that will be followed by uh, a course like human physiology, mm -hmm. which is a very important course if you want to uh, issue uh, a medical master in the future. So you have to take that for, for a pre-medical track. Mm -hmm. um, we also have molecular biology uh, in that uh, track. Uh, Biochemistry is there, but, but officially I think that that's in the chemistry track. Um, then we have also uh, cell and molecular uh, biology or physiology uh, that is part of that uh, life science track. And then we have the other track, the, the biomedical track, which contains courses like uh, functional anatomy, uh, pharmacology, um, there's also Mechanisms of Disease, another important course if you want to do uh, pre-med. And we have there also the uh, <laughs> Infection and Immunity uh, as an important course. And, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. yeah. So if I were to sum it up, students in the pre-med track, they basically learn how the human body should function at a very micro level, but also a much more macro level. What can potentially go wrong and how we then work on solutions for that. That's yeah. a rough... That, that's a rough uh, summary. Very rough translation. Yeah, so, so you, you need to have uh, first uh, to know the basics. Uh, mm -hmm. And the basics uh, start with introduction in life science. Mm -hmm. And that will be followed uh, by, by, by a course like functional anatomy. So, so the, the, the normal order is uh, introduction to life science, functional anatomy, and then you should go for human physiology. Mm -hmm. And that uh, will be followed then by mechanisms of disease. And it, it's very important that you have finished uh, your mechanisms of disease as, as the, the final cause of this combination uh, by the end of the second year. Because if you want to go for, for a medical master, uh, there will be entrance exams during the final semester uh, at UCR. And if you take mechanisms of disease, which is a typical spring course, uh, then you are in fact too late with, with uh, very important information that you need for these entrance exams. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that, that you have finished uh, the most important four courses uh, by the end of the second year. Yeah. So planning is definitely key for students and who planning want to do the pre-med program. Planning is, is very important, uh, yeah. So also in case that you might start in, in, the, in the spring semester, and some students will do that, uh, also, then you, you can start with introduction to life science, but then it depends a bit on the availability of spots in the courses, uh, how you should continue. Mm -hmm. And sometimes then it's better to, 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 to go first to human physiology and do functional anatomy uh, a bit later. So I think what is important for students to know is that pre-med is, is definitely an option within the liberal arts, but they do need to plan accordingly and they do need to make sure that they have the key courses as soon as possible if that's the route they intend to take. Yeah. Now I want to zoom in a little bit more on the courses and, and what is the what are the kind of assignments and, 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 and it maybe internships, um, they're quite key in, in medicine often, so what can students expect in their courses? What they can expect is of course uh, a lot of theory, and interactive lectures, mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that uh, homework, uh, so homework assignments that, that will prepare you for, for a particular class uh, are important, and then the homework can be discussed uh, during the class. Um, some specific uh, assignments uh, might be that, that you have to present a micro class, so mm -hmm. a short uh, lecture, a short uh, 
uh, class uh, to, to your uh, peers mm. on a certain topic. Uh, I know that happens in, in functional anatomy, um, but there might be also writing assignments in physiology. You have to write about a certain physiological topic, and that is something you will do in, in small groups. And in these small groups, uh, there is peer reviewing. So you, you share your work with the, the members of a small reading group, and then there is a lively discussion uh, about these papers. Um, other assignments like in pharmacology might be that, that you work with a virtual organ valve. Uh, pharmacologists like to work with organ valves and then to, to test different substances and then see what, what the impact will be on, on certain tissues. And you can that, do that also in, in a, with a virtual uh, uh, setting. And, and then of course also it, it, uh, it triggers your uh, curiosity and also uh, creativity, yeah? so you, you have to, to apply different concentrations and, and if the outcome is not what you expect, then you might try to find a solution for that. Right, so quite a lot of practical experience in the courses as well as theoretical knowledge building from what I gather. Yes, and, and we, we should also not forget that uh, next to this uh, these two tracks, there are also laboratory courses. Right. and. If you uh, go for biomedical sciences or for, for pre-medical, you, you must take also these lab courses. And the, the first, the 100 level uh, lab course, is an introduction to, to laboratory science. Mm -hmm. So that, that's more the, the general uh, stuff, like pH measurement, uh, making solutions, and then and do some uh, nice uh, synthesis of molecules. Mm -hmm. and. Then the 200 level course is focusing on, on life science and their particular uh, diagnostic procedures and then day-to-day uh, -day, uh, techniques will, will be applied in the course, like looking through a microscope uh, after staining bacteria or making a blood smear, uh, but, but also some DNA uh, mm. uh, experiments. Yeah. Right. So it's actually quite a lot students have to do if they want to complete the pre-med program, but it's still a pre-med program within a liberal arts and science curriculum, of course. So what are, do you think, the benefits of doing a pre-med degree within a liberal arts and science curriculum, and what kind of combinations do you see your students make? Uh, that, that's very interesting, uh, because in the, in the liberal arts and sciences, uh, we have also other options, and, and uh, we see that students uh, might choose for, for psychology or cognitive sciences, uh, especially if they are interested in, uh, in neurosciences. Uh, that is also a perfect combination that is possible. Uh, but, but the more uh, yeah, rare combinations that, that you see that people make uh, are, for instance, with history. Mm -hmm. And that also uh, recently I had a student who uh, researched uh, epidemical uh, consequences of a military invasion here in Zeeland in 1809. And then she also linked it to, to uh, historical records uh, about the weather. And they were quite difficult to, to collect, but it will provide you some, some interesting uh, facts and an insight in why such a military operation failed, uh, because hardly no uh, soldiers uh, fell during uh, combat but most of them fell uh, due to disease. Right. Yeah. Right. And I think especially nowadays, I mean, this is a hot topic for discussion, of course, and global health policies and these kinds of things, and being able to have policy courses or rhetoric courses or even creative writing courses in combination with your, your scientific pre-med courses is very relevant to become yes, a yeah. doctor or a researcher. And, and talking about becoming a doctor or a researcher, what do you see uh, graduates that you maybe stay in touch with or that you know of? What, what do students go on to do and become after? Yes, so to the pre-medical students uh, aim for, for a medical master in the Netherlands. Uh, so in, in that case, especially if you are a non-native speaker, you should also go for, for medical Dutch, which is a, a new course here at UCR. But that might be also an important course for also native speakers because all our classes are in English and then sometimes in, in, in Dutch you, you have different expressions. So also this course might function uh, very well for, for native speakers. Also people might uh, go for, for medical masters abroad. Uh, we have a few examples. P 
people went to the United States or even uh, to also the United Kingdom. Uh, some students uh, prefer not to go into the clinic but into biomedical sciences and there are, are plenty of courses or, or programs that, that you can follow in, in the field of uh, oncology, so cancer related research, immunology, um, but, but also public health might be interesting for students and that's something maybe I, I didn't say so far. It's, it's also not an official course at UCR, but during uh, every winter break uh, we offer a one-week epidemiology course. And this epidemiology course is, is quite intensive uh, and will also grant the students uh, with, with a few uh, study points. Uh, but I think especially when you have an interest in public health, that this is an essential course Right, so the pre-med program really keeps your options open, it sounds like. It trains you very well for the medical profession, um, whether that is a practitioner or a medical researcher. There's, a, yeah, again, so much out there for students to do. It sounds fascinating to me. Yes, and also the liberal arts and sciences uh, will make that, that you can sometimes make uh, very peculiar, very rare combinations, and, and uh, mm -hmm. that makes it also interesting. And that, uh, Although the program is, is pretty much loaded eh, because you have to follow all these courses uh, to, to be uh, able to, to do the entrance exams. But in addition, there is still some time to do uh, other courses uh, of your interest. And I think that perfectly sums it up. So thank you so much for introducing us to the pre-med track today and for telling us a little bit more. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah.